तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोभिष्टम स्थापितमेन भूतले स्वयं रूपकदामयम ददाति सपदांतिकम आद दान शरणम दंतरिदम याचे पुनः पुनः श्री मधुरो परम भुज दूलिस्याम जन्म जन्मनी अनर्पित चरिम चिरात करणयाव तिरणा तळो समर्पय निराश्रयचंद्रमनेदावल चैतन्य चंद्रम विद्यादेवीचिंतनाभंगरंगिंचापरारिमिदिरंगिरपादाृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृतमृ
it will no more be iron it will be fire once it is red hot you cannot call it iron steel or anything it is fire so like that uh, you become completely spiritualized when you take diksha you know chant the mantras gayatri mantras you become spiritualized ah uh. so once the devotee is released from the shelter of bhagwan's material energy maya the, and the misconception that he and that energy are separate from krishna so when the devotee is released from the shelter of maya what is maya generally is called terminology is of mata ji is called maya mata ji is are maya understand that is not the thing mata ji is not maya your heart as maya you are superimposing that maya on some mata ji understand You have lust in your heart, and now you are superimposing that lust on some other woman and blaming her for your downfall. No. If you maintain a proper mentality to every woman, with a, my daughter, my sister, my mother, my uh, grandmother, like this, then as per the age, then you will never have problem. Understand? You cannot blame a woman for your call call them Maya. Understand? Women are not Maya. Your misconception, your ignorance is Maya. Understand? If you regard every woman as a maid servant of Krishna, as a property of Krishna, why there is Maya? Understand? They are not meant for your enjoyment. Women are not meant for your enjoyment. They are meant for Krishna's enjoyment. So that is Maya. Pratishtha also. Money also is Maya. They say money is not Maya, but you are thinking that although I have taken initiation from Sri Sri Guru Dev Ji, Bhagwan Gandhi Maharaj, all the money that I see is mine. This is misconception. Once you take initiation, all money goes to Guru. It belongs to Guru, but Guru will not use that money for his own self. He will not take Dakshina and go to the Dakshin Mark. Dakshin is the south is the direction where Yamaraj sits. Uh, you should never sit facing south. I understand? Uh, or your head. You should not face south. Actually, I understand. You should. It is very important. When you sleep, also your view, your feet should not be towards south. Otherwise, you will die very quickly. Understand? So, by taking Dakshina, we will go to the mark of Dakshin to Yamaraj. That is not the thing. So, Guru never claims proprietorship over the disciples' property. His donations, no. He utilizes all the donations for service of Krishna. So, Guru is also not the Vishay Vidra. Guru is not the supreme enjoy. Ultimately, Krishna is the supreme enjoy. But Guru is also Ashray Vidra. He is also the shelter of bhakti. He is also receptacle of bhakti. He is also like Radha Rani to some degree. Guru Radha Rani is also receptacle of love. Once the devotee is released from the shelter of Bhagwan's material energy Maya, and the misconception that he and the energy, that energy, are separate from Krishna. So basically, we are seeing. not in connection with krishna that is our problem we are seeing uh, maya also as separate from krishna but no maya is also krishna's energy daivi eshi guna mai mama maya duratya mameva ya prapadyante maya medam tarandite understand that this maya is also daivi uh, is powerful so shri krishna makes him his own the devotee then abandons his false conception of being the enjoyer in the realm of mundane sense gratification so basically the whole world is trying to enjoy understand men are running after women women are running after men people are running after money and uh, people are running after big houses mansions um, gold electronic gadgets uh, but they are thinking they are not in relationship with krishna okay you want to buy a house uh, or to make a temple for krishna it's okay uh, you want to get married so that you can get krishna consciousness children and serve krishna that's also fine but not that i will enjoy with that mentality one should not engage in grihastha ashram or any ashram sanyasa ashram or anything our mentality should be that i want to do some service understand i want to do seva and uh, for that i am Entering household life. Now, who can be a better grihastha than Bhaktino Thakur? Bhaktino Thakur was an ideal grihastha. He was not sannyasi. 
later on he took the baba ji vesh but he was patna uh, tagore was a householder and he married i think he had two wives many children also at that but he educated shri bhakti siddhan saraswati group was so nice in krishna consciousness uh, but he had a uh, another son that son is regarded him as kedarnath dutt my father is kedarnath dutt mr kedarnath dutt he is a bengali gentleman he is a judge magistrate but bimla that is his name dalita prasad one son of bhakti nath thakur by the name dalita prasad used to regard bhakti nath thakur as his father he used to respect bhakti nath thakur but as his father but bhakti siddhanta saraswati prabhu pad bimla prasad he never regarded bhakti nath thakur as his father he never said he refused to accept him as father no bhakti nath thakur is not, not my father he is radharani's maid servant understand he may be playing the role of my father a house a householder but he is actually not a father he is not a householder he is not a judge he is actually the maid servant of radharani he is actually kamala manjari understand with that relationship he didn't love He didn't love Bhakti Nath Thakur because he was his father. No, he loved Bhakti Nath Thakur because he was. He could see his manjari soul. That my father is actually uh, the maid, eternal maid servant of Radha Rani. Understand? So that's why there is a uh, even an earth difference between the outlook of Lalita Prasad ji and Devila Prasad ji. Lalita Prasad is also uh, loving Bhakti Nath Thakur and Devila Prasad is also loving Bhakti Nath Thakur. But uh, Lalita Prasad is loving because he is thinking that he is my father, and Bimla Prasad is loving because he is Radha Rani's Rup Manjari's associate. Understand? Baha Prabhu's associate. He is Gauri Shakti. Understand? So once the devotee is released from the shelter of Bhagwan's maternal energy Maya, and the misconception that he and the energy are separate from Krishna, Sri Krishna makes him his own. The devotee then abandons his false conception of being the enjoyer in the realm of mundane sense gratification, and with the senses of his soul, he gains realization of his eternal position as a servant of Krishna. Uh, so we should not think we are the enjoyer. Uh, Bhagavad Gita says the same thing. Now we have begun the Bhagavad Gita class. Bhuktaram yoga tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram. I am the enjoyer. Krishna is telling, put me in the center. Don't put yourself in the center. What we have done is we have put ourselves in the center. Is my wife, my children, my mother, my father, my house, my job, my my my. And with this I sense of I sense of my. Goes. How can we advance in bhakti? Understand my position. Uh, I constructed this temple, so this is my temple. I give the prominent share in making the temple. Understand? First, don't offer you know Krishna flower, fruit, or leaf or water. Don't offer it. Krishna may say in Bhagavad Gita, "Give me fruit, give me mango." No, no, that is okay. But don't follow what Krishna is telling. Understand? First, follow what. Pallad Maharaj is telling hmm. uh, that Shamanam Kirtanam Vishnu Swaranam Parasevanam Arjunam Vandanam Dasam Sakti Madhuram. Don't do this till you have offered your own self to Guru's dear lotus feet. Diksha kare shishya kore atma samarpan. Sahi kare Krishna tarik kore atma sam. Understand? First, say Swaha. I am offering myself to Guru Dev, Radha Krishna. Swaha. Complete self dedication should be there. Then you can offer mango, then Krishna will accept it. But if you are not dedicated yourself to Krishna, you are not surrendered to Krishna, then Krishna may not accept your mango hundred percent, maybe ten percent, twenty percent. He may accept, but unless you are fully surrendered, he cannot accept completely. Understand? There will always be some shortcoming. So here. Sri Krishna makes him his own. The misconception that he and his energy are separate from Krishna, Sri Krishna makes him his own. 
The devotee then abandons his false conception of being the enjoyer in the realm of mundane sense gratification. And so mundane sense gratification is what is mundane sense gratification? Mundane sense gratification means by eyes, uh, you see a nice picture, television. By ears, you hear film songs. And these film songs are also very catchy tunes. In my childhood, I remember so many film songs I remembered by heart. Understand? Catchy tunes. Uh, and uh, so many hours and hours I wasted my life singing the film song. Understand? From Hindi movies, Bollywood movies. Understand? That time we didn't know that it is a waste of time. But some time passed singing some songs. About a fake love, false love between a boy and a girl. Glorifying that. Is there any true love between a boy and a girl? And suppose your uh, fiance's uh, face is, uh, you know, somehow, God forbid, but is, you know, spoiled by some accident or something. Will you marry her after that? Most of them will never not think, oh, no, 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 now I don't want that girl. When she was beautiful, pretty, yes, I was willing to marry. But, but due to some fluke or by some accident, now she has some scar on the face or she, maybe she's, not looking so beautiful. Oh, then I don't want to marry. But this is beauty skin deep. You are not loving that woman. You are loving her skin, her flesh. Understand? So this is, that's why there is no pure love in this world. Even in marriage institution also, not so much pure love. So, <coughs> The devotee then abandons his false conception of being the enjoyer in the realm of mundane sense gratification and with the senses of his soul. He, he gains realization of his eternal position as a servant of Krishna. So we should realize this that I am the eternal servant of Krishna. We have an eternal position. We may apply for a job. I want a job as a software engineer, mechanical engineer, electronics engineer, instrumentation engineer. Aeronautical engineer, biotechnology engineer, cryogenic engineer, so many engineers we can become. But that is not our eternal position. We can be cabinet secretary, general secretary, prime minister, president, vice president. No, that is also not our identity. We are not heart surgeon, eye surgeon, ear surgeon, nose surgeon, no. We are identity is servant of Krishna. So in his spiritual body of eternality, cognizance and bliss, the devotee has realization of the eternal object of service. Sri Krishna Chandra and attains the qualification to engage in service to him with his spiritual body. But even while the devotee internally renders transcendental service in his transcendental body, fruity workers, karmis, due to their faulty mundane intelligence, presume the devotee's activities to be much like their own attempt to attain material enjoyment. So basically, <clears throat> devotee is cutting vegetables, he is cutting fruit, he is making fruit juice, he is uh, <clears throat> condensing the milk by eating it up. But what is his consciousness? That these foodstuffs will be fed to Lord Krishna by the lotus hands of Yashoda Maya or Radharani. After that, Radhani will accept the remnants of Krishna. Then she will distribute among the Sakis. Then through Rup Manjari, my Guru Manjari, I will get this Kamala Manjari. Through them, all of them, I will get this Mahaprasad remnants. I will honor that and be satisfied. Because it is a Dharamruta of my Swamini Radharani and also all the Sakis and also my Guru Varga. With that mentality, devotee will cook and honor Prasad. But karmis are cooking with the mentality that they want to satisfy their senses. Karmis are so ruthless that even on Ekadashi day, they don't hesitate to take food. Uh, so, but even while the devotee internally renders transcendental service in his transcendental body, fruity workers, karmis, due to their faulty mundane intelligence, presume the devotee's activities to be much like their own attempt to attain material enjoyment. As a result of such an offense, 
they are deprived of the mercy of a transcendental spiritual master. In this regard, Shri Sanatan Goswami's commentaries on verses 1.3.35 and 2.3.45 of Brit Bhagavad Gita offer helpful insight. So, Brit Bhagavad Gita is the book of Sambandha Gyan. Sanatan Goswami gave us Sambandha Gyan through this book, Brit Bhagavad Gita Brit Bhagavad Gita also another big book actually. Very good for giving classes, but we already have four classes going on. Understand. <clears throat> and basically, you know, all the, the, the whole point is that actually, Machitta Madgata Prana Bodhyantis Parasparam Kathyantis Shamamitya Tushyanti Charamanti Because if no Harikatha is there, then we spend all time in gossiping, criticizing, backstabbing, uh, pinching. Understand. Or we commit offense to own Gurudev or Vaishnavas. Understand. Criticizing mentally others. But when Haripatha is being spoken and heard, at least the mind, it goes away from that gossiping and, you know, for some time. So not only you, but I also benefit. Otherwise, who's going to study Madhuri Kadambini so diligently, word by word? Understand? Because you are hearing, I am speaking. Understand? And I have to study. I have to read. I try to understand the moods of Gurudev. Recollect what Gurudev said on this topic. And quote something from his Harikatha. Uh, not that I am doing it, uh, you know, out of false ego. Understand? So that is very important. Uh, so as a result of such an offense, uh, they are deprived of the mercy of Hare Krishna. A transcendental spiritual master. In this regard, Shri Sanatana Goswami's commentaries. On verses 1.3.35 and 2.3.45 of Brit Bhagavatam Amritam offer helpful insight. Uh, meanwhile, the first two leaves on the creeper of devotional of devotion emerge. Understand. So this is the creeper actually. Creeper of devotion. Understand. Wonderful creeper. Uh, you see, creepers also uh, Gurudev was telling that. That uh, shelter, understand, there is love and affection everywhere, mm. not just male and female body. Also, there is love and affection between a creeper and a tree, Gurudev was telling him. Creeper is also showing love to the tree, understand, taking shelter, entwining around a tree and having, and showing love and affection. That tendency is there even in the plant kingdom, not just... Uh, uh, not just a human, understand. So this creeper of devotion, mm. this creeper actually, ultimately speaking, it is supported by this ultimate Tamal tree, Krishna only, right? Because how the creeper will be supported otherwise? Creeper cannot climb on own. In Dinupati, we go Sankirtan house to house and we see that um, very tall creepers actually, wonderful flowers. Sometimes third story, fourth story, the creepers are climbing. Uh, they are climbing with the help of uh, ropes and some, you understand, and some amazing, actually. It's amazing. And um, so this creeper of bhakti, understand. So the seed of the wish-fulfilling wine of devotion. Now here, the wine of devotion is called wish-fulfilling. This is Kalpalata. Kalpalatika. There is one book actually called Hari Bhakti Kalpalatika. Very wonderful songs and slokas are there actually. So this Hari Bhakti Kalpalatika. Latika or Lata. Understand? Which is the desire aroused by the mercy of exalted devotees to perform bhajan of Sri Krishna. Now this is again, I am chanting name, I am chanting name. Okay. But... Wait a minute, you also need the mercy of exalted devotees, understand? Many people chant so much Harinam, but they don't understand that Atash Shri Krishna Nama Adhina Bhavet Grahiyam Indri Seva Mukhe Jivvado Swayameva Swaratyada That the name, form, qualities and pastimes of Krishna cannot be understood unless you render some service to Vaishnavas. Then your name will be Shuddha Nama, it will be pure Nama, understand? It may be very small service. 
it doesn't have to be very long but uh, some make a make it a point that you render service to pure devotees it may be they have come you bring their luggage we bring them a glass of water sweep their room outside it, that service has in unlimited benefit will come unlimited you cannot countless benefit will come if you do that service then your naam will be so much shuddha naam if the vaishnavas are pleased with you because here it is very very clearly told this desire to serve krishna will arouse by the mercy of exalted devotees not just devotees but exalted devotees obviously we respect all the vaishnavas but in that also there should be gradation we should see what level their devotees are there and we should serve them as per their adhikar understand so <clears throat> we should serve all the devotees but as per their adhikar is planted in the field of the sadhaka's heart by the grace of shri guru and shri krishna that seed when watered by the process of shravan and kirtan quickly sprouts hmm. so this seed when we watered by the process of shravan and kirtan it will quickly sprout thereafter the first two leaves appear so the process of shravan and kirtan is so important hmm. remember i first time you joined is gone and hours and hours i should listen to different speakers speaking about bhagavad gita bhagavad gita is a very important scripture and is gone it was stressed very much so some devotee would come some maharaj would come i will sit and hear anyone would come i will not miss the class for many many years just for bhagavad gita it had an effect it had an effect understand but then when i heard from guru the effect was even more because there was a source was uh, of pure original and also um, uh, from the realm of radha krishna understand mahaprabhu's own voice was speaking when gurudev was speaking or even when shripad dandi maharaj speaks it's like the lord himself is speaking understand through him he is the vibe medium dandi maharaj is not speaking it is krishna mahaprabhu rupa goswami is speaking through dandi maharaj krishna ji will talk more but he is uh, he is a pure bhai medium understand because he is he has no ulterior motive when he speaks and that's why he becomes a perfect uh, conduit for delivering that message he is not adulterating that message or when gurudev was speaking or shila bhaktidan sai maharaj was speaking or shripa dandi maharaj was speaking they are actually not any ulterior motive is not there they are they are speaking with the uh, with the mercy aspect that jeevas they are wandering in loitering here and there let me uplift them with that mentality to do everything understand so that is what is the uh, guru tatva is that vaishnav guru tatva so merciful his personality like shri pad dandi mara understand so many times you know even in tirupati i think uh, Uh, oh, I am away from Dandi Maharaj. But I other day I read a verse that how the turtles, the turtles Guru Tatwa, we should understand very carefully. A turtle will lay the eggs on the shore, and the turtle will venture far into the ocean. But turtle will always mate it on the eggs, and by mateation of the turtle, the eggs will hatch. This example is given in the scripture. So don't be disillusioned if you are in South Africa or China or remote part of Singapore or some place or middle of nowhere, and you have taken initiation and say, "Where is my guru now?" No, guru can nurture you, nourish you, or bhakti. Even he is very far away. Now my guru is in Golapurinda Vat, but I feel he is next to me. He is next to me. I always feel my guru is presence. He is guiding me. Otherwise, it would be impossible to chant. Forget about sixteen rounds. Even one holy name will not emanate from my mouth if Guru Dev is not blessing me. Forget about chanting sixty-four rounds or anything. Not one single name will not. Even my, to, even to uh, play the kartal for Sai will not be able to. It is empowerment of Guru Dev. Understand? Everything he is doing for us. He is without his bhakti shakti, we cannot do anything. Understand? and senior god brothers also we should take them as representative of guru dev uh, cannot uh, say oh dandi maharaj is not guru dev he is 
the right hand man of gurudev understand he is the arm of gurudev someone may be the right hand someone may be the left hand someone may be uh, so like that they are all limbs of gurudev understand i can say that they are part and parcel of gurudev but i would say limb of gurudev because limb brings we love the limb limb is also non different from the body understand so as a representative of gurudev they reserve that respect and honor understand that we must respect them as like gurudev because they are representative gurudev they are they are uh, taking the responsibility of nurturing us on behalf of gurudev and they are carrying forward the mission of gurudev so like very funny thing actually shila Uh, Krishna's Baba Ji Maharaj. He was godfather of Shri Bhakti Rakshak Shridhar Maharaj, and sometimes he used to go to the birthplace of Shri Bhakti Rakshak Shridhar Maharaj, and used to circumambulate the home in which he was born in childhood. And then, when Shri Bhakti Rakshak Shridhar Maharaj heard this, uh, then he actually, um, uh, you know, asked him that you are not my, I am not your diksha guru, you are my godfather. My disciple Sir Kamal Mamlet, my birthplace, I can understand that. But you are my godbrother, Sir Kamal Mamleting, my birthplace, um, uh, I cannot understand. Why you are Sir Kamal Mamleting, my birthplace? You are not my disciple. You are my godbrother. Then he said that the poetry that is emanating from your mouth, like Sujanar Budara, Adita Pada Yugam, this has the uh, this has the quality of Rupa Goswami. I see your poetry as non different from Rupa Goswami's poetry. I see Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Prabhupad in you. So when I am circumambulating your birthplace, I am circum. I am thinking that I am circumambulating the birthplace of Shri Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Prabhupad and Rupa Goswami. I see their qualities in you. So that's why you are also your birthplace is also worshipable for me because from such pure land you came. Understand? That was the realization of Shri Krishna um, uh, Babaji Maharaj. Understand? So we should also have that type of. Realization uh, that we are in shelter of Shiva Dandi Maharaj is not different from our Guru, and that seed, when watered by the process of Shravan and Kirtan, quickly sprouts, hmm. and thereafter the first two leaves appear. These two leaves are called Klesha, Klesha Gni, that which destroys all misery and Shubhada, that which bestows all auspiciousness. It's a glaciers. People are suffering glaciers, glaciers, glaciers. And for uh, removing the glaciers, they opened so many hospitals. Understand? Neem Hans Hospital for mental problems, brain surgery, Whitefield Satya Sai Super Speciality Hospital, Narayan Rudrayalay for heart problems, Netralay for eyes, and innumerable nephrology uh, means for kidney problems, liver problems, super specialist. But wait a minute. These problems are only giving some indication. All these problems are coming due to your forgetfulness of Krishna. And if you connect with some high class Vaishnava like Guru Dev, Shri Padmanabhi Maharaj, Ranjit Prabhu Ji, they will remind you of Krishna. Then that will stop you going to all these super specialty doctors because how many departments you will traverse, how many places you will visit, uh, how many. And how long treatment will go on? But cut the all the sources of misery is at the base. The, oh, everything is coming from forgetfulness of Krishna. I have forgotten Krishna, who is my eternal well-wisher. And Sadhu is telling us that. Basically, Sadhu is reminding you, "Hey, you have forgotten Krishna. Just go to him. Go to him. Quickly run to him." So, and Shubhada. That which bestows all auspiciousness, understand? That bestows all auspicious. All auspiciousness will come, understand? What is the source of all auspiciousness? Removing your needs, understand? Reduce your needs. Uh, reduce your needs. Actually, my personal experience, I'll tell you. I was trying the pillow. <clears throat> I got a pillow, sleeping. I put it on my head on that, and somehow it was not setting right. So maybe I thought I'll get some other pillow. Again, neck problem, spondylitis is there. Then I got two 
two solid bricks and I put a cloth on that and putting it underneath the head. All spoiled head is gone. Because the bricks support the head better than any pillow in the world. And I realized the power. Actually, the earth has a power. Earth is mother. Mother earth, we say. And actually, the bricks are supporting much better. And Bhagavatam exactly tells like that. They don't you have arms? You can sleep. Are not clothes discarded? Hair? Like I go to Tirupati, there is one say called Mercy, Mercy uh, store. Mercy store means all the people use clothes, they just kept them in Mercy store. Anyone can come and take any clothes of their size and wash them and use them. So there are so many people like that. Once I went to Rameshwaram, somehow traveling, preaching, I used to just travel on a train and train took me to Rameshwaram all the way to the fag end of India, uh, Tamil Nadu, fag end. And there I saw in the ocean so many dhutis. And God knows after the Shabda or what, they are discarding their own clothes. So many dhutis are just discarded there. Saris are discarded. People take bath after Shabda and they discard it. So such clothes can be used. All that you have to cover yourself, that's all. So why you have to uh, be dressed so nice? No need. Simple clothes is fine. And then like Ganga Mata Goswami, she had only one sari, and that is also tattered, and she was not worrying about that. Another Maharaj was there, actually, he was offered three sets of dhotis. He accepted, okay, three sets of dhotis are the key. Someone offered him another set of dhotis, he said, no, if I accept fourth set of dhoti, I will be a sense of enjoy. No, I don't want that. It's a headache to maintain so many clothes also, understand. So three sets of dhoti is fine. Because one you are wearing, one you have washed and you are drying outside your room. And the third one has a backup in case it doesn't dry or your clothes are drying and rain comes. And you could not get them on time. So next day you have nothing to wear. So two dresses, or three dresses is just fine. Three is just fine. But anything beyond that to maintain a big wardrobe and you know, it's actually sense enjoyment. Understand. So that was Maharaja's study. So, Shubhada means reducing your needs, understand, uh, focusing on uh, whatever written prasadam Krishna gives and chanting Harina and doing seva by his body. And it may be any service, menial service, and that is actually all auspiciousness will come to you. People will like you, people will appreciate, uh, look, that person is so educated, but doing such menial seva. Oh. Uh, this devotee uh, is such humble attitude or even willing to clean toilets, no harm, uh, or any menial work willing to do. Uh, like this, understand, humility. Uh, so service actually makes you, uh, everyone loves you. If when you are a servant, uh, there are some devotees, Shila Gurudev gives an example, that they were always seen doing seva, always doing seva. Hmm. So, Raga Bhakti and Vedi Bhakti. So, here, Tusi says, Dvayor api tayor antastu loha pravartakava dakshana. The upper side of these two unfurling leaves of sadhan bhakti is characterized by the gleaming softness of devotion, impelled by greed, loha. So, these two leaves of the sadhan bhakti. What bhakti we are doing is sadhan bhakti. Our sadhan is uh, uh, chanting the holy name, hearing Hari Katha, uh, remembering Krishna, remembering Krishna's pastimes, any, any sadhan or sarakamamalating tulsi. This is all called sadhan bhakti. There are 64 limbs of bhakti. Understand? There are 64 limbs of bhakti are there. And these all these limbs of bhakti uh, are sadhan bhakti. But is characterized by the gleaming softness of devotion. Mm. Gleaming softness of devotion. Impelled by greed, loha. Mm. And greed is very, very important. The greed is very important. We should have greed to hear Harikatha, uh, to, to greed to do service, greed, greed to uh, read books, understand. All these books uh, we should read. Uh, we should have greed. Uh, uh, how will I read Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita? 
I will I read Krishna's pastimes. I will hear these pastimes. Uh, remember these pastimes. The greed should be there. And that greed will come by the mercy of Vaishnavas. Understand? If you want to be a drunkard, you associate with the drunkards. If you want to be a gambler, you associate with gamblers. But if you want the greed to hear Harikatha, then you do service to those Vaishnavas who have that greed. And by doing that service to that Vaishnavas, guaranteed that greed will enter your heart. No doubt about it. Certainly it will come. If you take the remnants, uh, it will certainly that greed will come in your heart. Your association, even you stay in their proximity. Uh, uh, the, 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 the waves that are coming from there, the air that has touched their body, will all has the greed in it. Tremendous, their vision, their association in greed is there. Understand? There was actually one devotee, he was Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada disciples. And there was one time when he big Bhandara, means distribution of prasadam. And Srila, and that Maharaj, he waited for all his god brothers to get up after honoring prasadam. Then he went and he took the remnants of all his god brothers. Then some Maharaj asked him, Bharti Maharaj asked him, hey, Maharaj, you are not, these are all your, these sannyasis who took prasadam are your god brothers and some of them are junior to you. And you are taking the remnants. What is this? What we can understand? We are disciples and they are our Gurudev's god brothers. We can go and take their Mahaprasad. But you, being their god brother and even senior some of, to some of them, you are taking the remnants. Then the answer of that Maharaj was very much, very typical. He said that they have served Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. By their body, mind, soul, self, they are fully dedicated themselves to the my Guru Maharaj, and that's why I aspire their mercy. That that dedication they have for Guru Dev, it should come to me. That greed to serve serve Bhakti Siddhanta should come to me. I want their mercy. I want to be equally dedicated to Guru Dev. So Maharaj also very dedicated to his Guru Dev, but he still he honored them. Understand? His junior God brothers also remnants he began to take. No harm. With that mentality, that type of humility. That a dog who has served my Gurudev is worshipable for me. If any dog has given little seva to my Gurudev, he is also, I must respect that dog also. He has done some seva. What to speak of any human beings? If any person we see who has served our Gurudev, even little bit, we should try to respect that person. We should not criticize that person. Understand? We should try to Yes, he has done some seva to my Gurudev. Yes. So, Sri Bhagavan has said in Srimad Bhagavatam 3.25 and 38, Yesham Aham Pri Atma Sutascha. Now, this, when you say third canto, immediately it should be Kapil Upakhyan. Understand? Kapil Upakhyan to Devavati. Generally, this is Kapil Upakhyan. Kapil Dev is speaking. Yesham Aham Pri Atma Sutash. For my devotees, I am their beloved and their very soul. So, the devotee is love, Bhagavan, and his soul. And like a son, I am the object of their affection. Understand? Like a son, I am the object of their affection. So, like, every, obviously, those who are mothers, you must know very well that how much you love your son or daughter. Understand? Your love. Uh, you know, you can tolerate hardship, but you don't want to see your daughter or son tolerating your hardship. Understand? Because that sense of possession, that mamata is there. Understand? Mothers know better, actually. So, that much we should have love and affection for Bhagwan. Understand? Like a son. And I am their friend. Krishna is the best friend, actually. He is the best friend. He never will abandon you. He will never give you a uh, he will not cheat you, uh, he will not backstab you, he will not criticize you. And Krishna has one special quality that he ignores the bad qualities of his devotees. Understand? Just like uh, mother, if you come to go to any mother that, oh, your daughter is like this, your son is like this, mother will hear by this ear and take out of that ear. Okay, okay. But she will not take it to the heart. Anyway, my child. She will not see the bad qualities of the child. That is the mother's nature. Mother will always see the positive aspect of the child. Even the children who have, you know, some 
serious illness their mothers love them no other person in the world will love but the mother will not give up that love understand i have seen mothers taking care of uh, children uh, which are uh, otherwise very difficult to take care of, but they are with love and affection they are taking care of. this is mother's love understand so bhagwan is also like that he is our causeless friend last calls also i told he is actually our ahituki ahituka friend but ahituka means no having no cause or a means vishnu a uma om a means vishnu u means brahma ma means shiva so a ok, ahituki means cause of vishnu a means vishnu the syllable a is actually in any language uh, first syllable is a understand we are learn to write o oh. otherwise uh, you know uh, because you see that um, when i also type sometimes it's always o oh. uh. so o oh means vishnu actually or oh is vishnu so <clears throat> i am the divine soul bhagwan is a divine soul and like a son i am the object of their affection i am their friend divine master He is a divine master. Krishna is divine master. Like Arjuna, he regarded him as disciple. Oh, you are my disciple. I am your divine master. I will give instructions. Uddhava also. He said, Yes, Uddhava. You want to learn something? Yes, come to me. I will give instructions. And before leaving the world, he gave some instructions. Understand? And when later on, that Uddhava propagated those instructions. He is a benefactor and worshipable Lord. according to these and similar statements from scripture when the realm of devotion is softened by the purity of one's relationship with krishna bhakti should be softened by the purity of one's relationship with krishna in this material world the purest relationship we know is mother and child this is a very very pure relationship i mean and there is no question about it actually gurudev also many times used to say that yes he said don't your mother is not a devotee don't preach to her because for your mother you are just a child don't preach to your family members that was the instruction of gurudev you just give them respect they will not listen what you are saying because in their eyes you are just a baby understand so just respect them but you will have to respect them because gurudev says my mother my father if they would come to matha i would catch their feet how much father and mother has done for the child whether they are devotees or not devotees you have to respect your mother and father uh, you have to really respect because when i go on preaching in tirupati i see what mothers are not doing for their children hours and hours keeping them on the shoulder changing the nappies bathing them feeding them uh, literally means mothers are uh, i see that with rice idli some out there trying to feed the child bring attention and put morsel 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 in his mouth actually understand some out try so that my baby will be healthy so like that so much concern is there so that's some pure love but that is also maybe tinged with some selfish interest but with love with bhagwan is never having any selfish interest and the purest of the relationship is like the gopi's mood uh, that mood is ultimate mm. so it attains an excellence that brings it under the jurisdiction of a king named raga understand this raga is a king of vrindavan if someone will ask you that uh, who is the king of vrindavan who is the king of the kingdom of bhakti then krishna is not the king of the kingdom of bhakti understand Krishna is not the supreme ruler of the kingdom of Vaikuntha or Kola Vrindavan, but actually it is very very clearly told here that that king is Raga, the ardent attachment that devotee has for Krishna, and the foremost of all the devotees is Radha Rani. Understand? So Raga is the king. Understand? So our relationship should have that excellence that it will bring us under the jurisdiction of the king called Raga. ardent attachment 
whose excellent realm is represented by the leaves smooth upper surface so raga bhakti means the leaves have two sides upper side is soft and under and the lower side of the leaves is a little rough upper side represents raga bhakti and lower side represents vaidhi bhakti a leaf have must have both sides so both must so the point here is the leaf is one but sides are two so sadhana bhakti and uh, vaidhi bhakti and raga bhakti they are two sides of the same coin and they can go hand in hand so for example uh, must get up for mangal arati that is vaidhi bhakti must get up for must chant aandi uh, must take bath must take aachar must put tilak must follow ekadashi must sagam amrit tulsi these are all vaidhi understand but some element of raga is there in them uh, when we are singing tulsi parikrama arti jay radhe jay krishna jay vrindavan shri govinda gopinath madana mohan some raga marg is there uh, what raga marg is that bhakti te jahara pailo govinda char jay dvija patni jay bhaga kanya ga wives of the brahmanas what they were doing they fed krishna sumptuous food stuffs and wanted to be like gopis but because they were in brahmin body they could not but that is raga bhakti they had developed spontaneous attachment for krishna wise of kali had developed spontaneous attachment for krishna how the wise of kali had developed that attachment because they used to go to bilbavan and they used to associate with lakshmi and hear harikatha from her without without hearing harikatha raga bhakti will come that is impossible not possible if any any bhakti will not come without without hearing hari katha what to speak of raga bhakti even vaidhi bhakti will also not come without hearing hari katha krishna bhakti mool hai sadhu sang association with the sadhus is actually the most important thing understand and that's why shila gurudev used to tell that i am traveling all over the world even in this old age to give association and you should tell one time in class that uh, you know stop making garlands i am giving class <laughs> he said that you can make garland in some other spare time i came 2000 miles just to give you hari katha and you are making garlands can you not make garland some other time please keep that away and listen to me hari katha he, he said you can and don't chant also he said then my i am giving katha please don't chant because you are mainly doing nama prada and nama bhas and um, that will not save you but if you hear my hari katha you will get some uh, instructions how to chant shuddha nam this is very very important like for example many devotees say, i am only chanting but i am not doing kirtan so gurudev said that one person is only chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare ram ram but other person is getting up in the morning one day hum shri guru shuddha कृष्ण हिते चतुर्मुख हो कृष्ण सेवनमुख हो वैष्णव ठाकुर दयाल सागर हे दास पूर्णा को नीताय गुणमणि आमा नीताय गुणमणि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु दया करो मोरे गौरांग नवनी देवे पुलक शरीर हरि नाम दुआ अनेक स्वरूप क्राइंग एंड सिंगिंग दिस सॉन्ग्स व्हाट इज बेटर इट इज फार बेटर टू सिंग दिस भजन्स विद प्रॉपर ऑर्डर फर्स्ट गुरु तत्व देन वैष्णव तत्व देन शरणागति अंडरस्टैंड गुरु परंपरा शरणागति लाइक दिस रूप गोस्वामी देन नित्यानंद प्रभु गौरांग महाप्रभु देन राधा कृष्ण दिस इज फार बेटर देन जपा व्हाई बिकॉज योर जपा विल बी मेनली नामाप्रद और नामाभास बट व्हेन यू सिंग दिस भजनस द यू आर आस्किंग फॉर द मर्सी ऑफ द ग्रेट आचार्यस राधा कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु दे विल बी काइंड टू यू and then you will be able to chant shuddha naam understand so this is very very important shri gurudev said and i was listening uh, reading this lecture on purebhakti.com uh, because i also had a doubt that uh, why are they sing bhajans actually in the morning like in gaudiya mat uh, like in iskon the system is uh, you get up you do mangal aarti and after mangal aarti there is one and half hour japa session everyone will chant finish 16 rounds which was started by shri bhakti dan swami maharaj 
But in Gaudiya Math, when I came, it was a shock. There was no set japa time for that time. But rather, the bhajans would begin at 6.30. Like when we used to go for Karthik Parikrama, uh, Mangalarthi would be there, Tulsi Parikrama would be there. Then after that, Tulsi Parikrama, the devotees would sing uh, uh, like uh, Udilo Aruna Pura Bhagya. They would, they would sing Jiu Jago, Jiu Jago, Pura Chanda Bhoja. Jiu Jago, wake up the sleeping soul. Because maybe some people missed Mangalarthi, they are still sleeping. They are trying to wake them up or waking up people from Maya. Was like a witch trying to devour them, and after that, some lull was there, some annik time was there 10 minutes annik, and then immediately Krishna Prabhu would come, who unfortunately left the world. But uh, he would come and he will begin one day, Shri Guru, and then then he will Guru Parampara, and then Nandana Ashtakam, Radha Krupa, Kadashastavaraj. So it was a little change in Gurudev Sangha, but I could not understand the motive behind that. But then I, when I read Gurudev's lecture, it became very clear that uh, crying for the mercy of the Acharyas, Radha, Krishna, Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, is very more, more important than your Nama Vas, Nama Prachapa. Gurudev was telling. But obviously, many other places, Srila Gurudev has also ex, uh, expressed the importance of Japa also, not uh, downplaying the importance of Japa. But at our condition, because we are only chanting Nama Pras and Nama Prad, Kirtanas uh, have a higher precedence and higher importance for us. And we should do that. Either we can sing uh, reciprocally, one person will lead, another will sing behind. Or then there are some kirtans, they can be sung like Radha Krupa, Kadashi Savaraj, Nandanashtakam, all together. That was also we have seen in Gurudev's time. Nandanashtakam was sung uh, all together. Radha Krupa, Kadashi Savaraj, Damodar Ashtakam, uh, all together, sometimes reciprocally also, no hard, either way, it's still beneficial. So, the underside of the two leaves is referred to in statements such as Tasmat Bharata Sarvatma. Therefore, a Parikshit, those who wish to be fearless forever should perform worship of Sri Hari, the Lord of all entities, the Lord of all entities, Srimad Bhagavatam. This verse suggests that because such bhakti is characterized as being impelled by the demand and dictate of the scriptures, it is somewhat rough. So basically, fearlessness. Everyone is actually scared because you see that Corona time we saw people were so scared. Uh, there was actually practically um, unlimited, never-ending holiday. You are not supposed to go on the train, you are not supposed to go on the bus, you could not go anywhere, you have to be stuck to your ashram or room or home. And literally, there was a panic on the people. Fear. What we saw in Corona was a real fear actually. So much fever. Fear and fear, both were there. Understand? There was a fear of fever, and fever is few fear, and understand, and blah blah blah, and talk about it. So, but here, Shukdev Goswami is telling Parikshit Maharaj in Bhagavatam second canto that those who want fearlessness, they should perform worship of Sri Hari, the Lord of all entities. Two point one point five. You can note down the number. Try to memorize this verse. Important verse. Tasmat Bharata Sarvatma. So this verse is an important verse actually. And this verse suggests that because such bhakti is characterized as being impelled by the demand and dictate of the scriptures, it is somewhat rough. So scriptures will guide us by the fear of hearing the instructions of scripture. Or due to some motive of getting fearlessness, if someone is doing bhakti, then that is Vaidhi Bhakti. Because the greed is not there, but rather they are doing out of sense of, uh, you know, duty. Because such bhakti lacks a pure relationship with the Lord, like that of a beloved, a son, and so forth. Someone is chanting Harinam, but has no relationship. 
then that is very important. Understand? Not having any relationship, uh, any pure relationship with Krishna, and without relationship, you are chanting. Then it is more. It's called very important. But when you are chanting with a pure relationship, then raga nuga bhakti. Relationship can be that Krishna is my beloved, he is my son, like you show the things, and so forth. It is somewhat dull or inferior. Because in Vaidhi Bhakti, no relationship is there, that Bhakti is dull or inferior. So Vaidhi Bhakti means no relationship. Uh, no any relationship has been formed. For this reason, the realm of devotion. Represented by this underside of the leaf is under the jurisdiction of a different king named Vaidha or regulation. So there are two kings. One king is Vaidha and one is Raga. So your bhakti is you have to see under which king's jurisdiction your bhakti is going on. If your bhakti is going on in the jurisdiction of the Raga, then you are doing Raga and Nuga Bhakti. If you are doing the bhakti under the jurisdiction of the king called Vaidha or regulation, so, regulation or attachment. So, in terms of the capacity to dispel suffering, klesha, anatva, and grant auspiciousness, shubha, dattva, however, there is almost no difference between raga bhakti and vedi bhakti. So, basically, if your aim is just to get rid of suffering, then do either one of the bhaktis, no harm. If you just want emancipation from uh, all the distresses, lamentation, disease, old age, this problem, that problem, lack of money and lack of resources, then you just do any bhakti. Vaidhi bhakti will also solve all your problems. And grant auspiciousness. Grant auspiciousness. Rajan Maharaj used to tell that, you know, when he used to honor Prashadam, he used to say that we have no capability of even getting little chipped rice. But so many preparations are coming before us. This is not my credit. This is Krishna's mercy. Because we are chanting holy name, Krishna is sending this. This is his causeless mercy. That they are, they are chanting holy name. How will they get food? So Krishna sends. He sanctions that. He will take away their diseases, problems. Uh, you know, children's worries also they are taken care of. That, that don't have to worry. That don't have to worry. What will happen to my daughters? Like there was a Brahmin, he was worried about his daughter's marriage. But when he approached Sanatana Goswami, Sanatana Goswami <coughs> said that he gave him touchstone which could convert unlimited iron into gold. But he, that Brahman rejected that and instead accepted Harinam from Sanatana Goswami. And Sanatana Goswami explained that this is the highest jewel, this is Nama Chintamani I am giving to you. That Brahmin never went back to Kashi to marry of his daughters. Krishna automatically arranged and very beautiful boys came and married the daughters and daughters are happy. Understand? And he never went even to look after the daughters. He stayed in Vrindavan, kept on chanting the holy name. His purpose was automatically accomplished because if you are thinking of Krishna, then Krishna is also thinking of you. Krishna will think, you know, that this devotee chanting my name, uh, he, he has no time to fulfill his needs, so I must go and fulfill that person's needs. What can you do? Understand? What can you do? He says, oh, I am indebted to that person, he is chanting my holy name. Even he is doing Vaiti Bhakti, I am indebted to that person. Obviously, Vaiti Bhakti will... <coughs> <clears throat> fulfill the desires, but it cannot control Krishna. It may please Krishna, but not control him. Only Raga Bhakti can control him. But also this Vatsala Ras and Sakya Ras also cannot control him as much as the moods of Gopis can control him. So, in terms of the capacity to dispel suffering, Kleshaknatva and grant auspiciousness, Shubhadatva, there is almost no difference between Raga Bhakti and Vaidhi Bhakti. All auspiciousness will also come if you do both type of bhaktis. The upper sides of these two leaves of Sadhana Bhakti are extremely soft. 
smooth and beautiful. The upper sides are soft, smooth and beautiful and the undersides are rough. Similarly, there are two types of Sadhana Bhakti. One is Raga Bhakti, which is rooted in a specific type of grid and is very soft and beautiful. And the other is Vaidhi Bhakti, which is rooted in the disciplinary injunctions of the scriptures and is somewhat rough. So we have to see what type of Bhakti we are going to do. Uh, but not give up Vaidhi Bhakti. Do not give up Vaidhi Bhakti. Many, many times say, oh, I am remembering Krishna's Mahatma, I am not coming for a Mangala Arati. No, if there is an opportunity, you are in good health, try to attend Mangala Arati. Uh, like Sipa Dandi Maharaj, I have seen him, that with old age, you know, sometimes he sits down in Mangala Arati, but he sits and he sees the Mangala Arati. It is not possible for him for physically stand for half an hour, like young persons, 10 or 20 year old person. Uh, no. Okay, it's okay. If your health is not good or you are sick, very sick, then sit down and see the Arati. And, uh, but he is following the regulation of Bhakti. Ekadesha also is following, understand. So like this. Although uh, being Acharya, Shiva Dadi Maharaj, he is setting an example by following all the limbs of Vaidhi Bhakti. To us that even on a higher stage, I don't give up Vaidhi Bhakti. <clears throat> For example, Ekadeshi cannot give up Ekadashi. Even if we are very elevated to Vaishnava, still that limb of Vaidhi Bhakti must do. Because it is Bhavanukul, it is not counterproductive to your mood. Understand? Bhav, bhav Abhi Viruddha you don't do. Like for you, no need to remember oh, uh, queens of Krishna or their pastimes in Dwarka. No need for you to meditate on that too much. Understand? Uh, because it is not going to benefit your bhava. If you want the mood of a manjari or something, then you have to remember appropriate pastimes. Dwarka pastimes cannot help you there. But suppose someone doesn't have someone the gyan, then for him it's all okay. Hearing Dwarka pastimes or Jagannath pastimes or Mahabharata or Rama and everything is same to you. Understand? It doesn't matter because it is all very worth it. So, <clears throat> the upper sides of these two leaves of Sadhana Bhakti are extremely soft and smooth and beautiful. And don't think Hanuman is not doing Raganuga Bhakti. He is also Raganuga Vishnu. Understand? He is also out of greed serving Ramchandra. So, Hanuman is not a Vaidhi Sadhaka. He is actually Siddha and a Premi Bhakta. Raga Bhakta. Premi Bhakta. He is a very high category Hanuman. The other is Vedi Bhakti, which is rooted in the disciplinary injunctions of the scriptures and is somewhat rough. The purpose is that Sadhana Bhakti has two qualities. Kleshagni, it dispels all misery and Shubhata, it bestows all auspiciousness. Here Srila Sanat, Srila Vishnachika Thakur, with the intention of rendering this subject very simple and readily understandable, has presented an example. So basically, a pertinent example should also be given. If you do not give proper examples, people will not understand. So therefore, the Acharyas, they devise some um, examples. Understand? Hare Krishna. So I think it's now late. Uh, I already finished one hour. Thank you all for joining. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare you all. I'm very happy Hare that Krishna. you all. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna Maharaj. Standard Pranam. Standard Didi. Hare Krishna. Uh, I have some question, Maharaj. Yes. I will. Uh, um, uh, Seva, so, Nana Kirtan is most important, Maharaj. But Seva, I am say so, Nana Kirtan is my own, uh, own sadhan. No. So that same time, Seva is have coming for uh, Krishna. With I will do Kirtan. Which one I will select for Maharaj? Uh, means you want to do Seva. No, no. I will do Kirtan. I will do Kirtan. I think uh, once at one time, I will select, select her. That time uh, is I will do Kirtan. That time coming for Seva. The, uh, which one I will select her, Maharaj? Actually, Seva always gets precedence. Uh, because Seva cannot wait. Kirtan you can do some other time also. There is a timely Seva. 
for example you have to clean say dandi maharaj room or you have to iron his clothes or something then he is uh, some time bound seva is there for example cows suppose some devotee is there in the ashram he has a seva that he has to feed the cows at certain time then or clean the goshala at certain time like that our mother ramchandra prabhu was there or someone okay he has to clean the goshala during that particular time otherwise yes, the yes. cows will be inconvenienced so then if he wants to do kirtan uh, he can do kirtan maybe uh, at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock after no, the no maharaj no 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 maharaj i will do morning uh, my seva time i know to i will do the kirtan time i say uh, i free time i will sit and do kirtan that time also seva is coming that time i have to, i will continue i uh, keep uh, i will lose uh, kirtan i go to attend the Uh, seva maharaj that's question yes yes and doing seva also you can sing the kirtans okay. a time should come that uh, you have don't have to refer to the book at all you should okay. memorize most of the kirtan it is okay. gurudev once he told on ekadashi day that why you are referring to the gitti gucha again and again that shuddha bhakta charana renu bhajan the devotees were looking at referring the book he said by now this kirtan should be by heart to you so not just shlokas from the gaudi gita gucha or from gaudiya kantha but also the bhajan should also be memorized some bhajan should be uh, memorized by you. should be try to make some effort uh, that uh, children or your daughters and other children teach them bhajans also because these bhajanas by bhakti not thakur they are also like bhagavata mund or upanishad mund high one very high class understand Narottam Das Thakur bhajans or Premanand Prabhu, these bhajans are not ordinary. So a, ta- a time should come that suppose you some work comes to you, so that like cutting sabji or something, you could you can be singing bhajans also. Vai Vaishnava Thakur Dayar Sagar Eda Se Karuna Pori Ya Bada Chaya Daya Mare Tumar Charan Dari. But actually, you are not holding the feet of Vaishnava. You are holding the rolling pin, making chapatis. But also, <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem? The tongue is always free. The kirtan is such a wonderful process that kirtan can be done uh, any time, even while doing seva. Okay. Another one, Maharaj. Another, another one question, Maharaj. Yes. Oh, I I have something uh, expert for my Krishna, so I will do Kirtan and Bhajans. Krishna saying everything. Yes. Uh, this is type of mood is good, Maharaj. Why I uh, why no previously you pure bhakti you can't uh, uh, you can't anything uh, uh, Krishna I need I need this I need this is not like that is not pure devotion no. Actually, so, what is happening? Sadhana avastha, sadhana avastha that is sa- practice na time. This is sadhana avastha, Maharaj. That time I have to I will. I think sometimes some material desires may come in the heart because of our past samskaras. Understand? But yes, we should right. tell Krishna that uh, I have only one desire. That I have only one desire from you. I have only one wish from you. That you should take away my desire to desire. Oh Krishna, take away my desire to desire. Okay. Understand? This desire itself, the root cause of the desire, you take it away. That I would okay. never desire anything. This is only desire I have from you. That I don't want anything from you. Make my heart such that I will not, uh, I will not ask anything from you. Nothing I will ask from you. This is my only desire. Only I ask seva. Understand? That uh, I want service. service to the divine couple this is only i want and nothing else can satisfy me understand because you see that uh, um, baby is like the example is given suppose in uh, one small girl uh, she is away from mother understand uh, suppose your daughter is away from you for some time i may tell oh ram tulsi take some sweet by 5 minutes mm-hmm. she will stop crying and then uh, then again mother where is my mother 
after one hour i will tell okay you read this book this comics again she will be absorbed seeing the comics maybe argue mobile she play some games after 3 4 hours she will be uh, unbearable crying no i want my mother that's it now no games nothing will satisfy her so basically swarga loka jano loka tapo loka mohar loka shiva loka we put the planet these are all toys they are given to stop baby from crying but finally speaking only that seva to the divine couple to radha krishna that can satisfy our innermost desire like gopu kumar he was never satisfied till he reached that goal he went to so many planets in the bhagavata amritam you may have studied that he traveled every planet but every planet he was not satisfied even narayan association could not satisfy him. he was not so happy there even dwarka also he could not be so happy there what to speak of vaikuntha planet even rama's planet also even hanuman could not also keep him happy shiva's planet nandi could not keep him happy ganesh could not keep him happy nothing because his swarup was like that understand swarupa is like that so if your swarupa is like that that's why you have attraction for this movement we are attracted to all of us we are attracted to gaudiya mood because our swarup is like that not everyone will be attracted to this mood understand the reason you are here because of this your swarup is dictating that you cannot be satisfied by anything less why they say don't ask anything because when you ask you will get less like that told a story of a doctor there was a doctor and one mother took her boy to the doctor and doctor after seeing the patient and said okay i have some sweets in the jar please take some sweets from the jar and that boy said no you give by your hand and doctor said why why my hand no 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 i don't want to take you by your hand so doctor finally put his hand in the jar of the sweets and he pulled out so many sweets and put in the boy the boy or give to his mother give to your child and then then she asked her coming home she asked the boy why did you take by your own hand doctor told you so many times why you insisted that doctor by his own hand will give the sweets she said because my hand is very small doctor hand is very big <laughs> if i give by doctor's hand then so many more sweets will come with my small fist i would got only two sweets that's why i i saw that and that's why i said doctor i insisted doctor must give it to me if you ask anything it will always be raw fish it will be puny and it will be insignificant because of our very little brain we have but we ask through the prayers of rupa goswami through the prayers of bhakti no thakur then we can bargain better with krishna or we can ask instead of saying our little desires uh, solve this problem krishna that problem krishna or you can Shri Radha Krishna Pada Kamale Mana Kemane La Vide Charamasha. This prayer is million times, million sometimes higher than any other prayer we can even think in our wildest dream. So that's why singing these bhajans is very powerful. Hari Bol, Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna Maharaj. Um, Raghunga Mounts, how do I will develop it, Maharaj? Pardon? Hmm. Maharaj, uh, Hanuman. Hanuman is taking the Rahana to Bhakti also. That is uh, like uh, Dasya Bhav. Dasya Bhav. That is also attachment. Dasya Bhav. So we the, are... The relationship like... is there, Rahana to Bhakti comes in picture. When you establish a relationship, Rahana to Bhakti happens. If no relationship, then why do you have to? Because he has a thick relationship. That he is the... Ram is the master, I am the servant. then it can be called raga nuga bhakti it is not a rupa nuga bhakti but it is a raga yes. nuga bhakti rupa nuga means follow following not every raga nuga sadaka is not rupa nuga but every rupa nuga is a raga nuga understand yes we are followers of rupa goswami they are rupa nugas through followers they are actually automatically raga nuga but not every raga nuga will be rupa nuga understand this is different topic okay. hare krishna hare bol thank you so much Thank you all of you. Hare Krishna. Jai Ram. Hare Krishna. One chart of Patra Bhishma. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Then don't stop. Hare Hare. Sorry, Marge. What page did you stop at? 
I actually, Didi, I stopped in the middle of uh, page number 126. Uh, okay. Page 126. Uh, remind me next time. Generally, I have my PDF reader as a marker. So automatically, I open up to that only. But uh, forget them, please. Remind. Even in the notification for the class, you can mention the page number. I am not embarrassed of asking, oh, what page number? <laughs> in the group, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> four classes, difficult to remember exactly where yes. I left off. Understand? Yeah. Understood. Uh, anyway, no Harikatha is like a sugar cane. All the books are like sugar cane. Whether you sugar cane, you eat from the root end or from the top end, it will all sweet. But we are following some stable, you know, chronological order. So, better to stick to that. Bhagavad is quoted once versus no uh, second scandal which which number which chapter which uh, slogan my Maharaj? That one actually is um, uh, talking about fearlessness. Um, verse number actually uh, was there actually uh, two point one point five it is two point Smart Bharata Sarvatma. Do you remember this? Tasmat Bharata Sarvatma. Tasmat Bharata Sarvatma. Uh -huh. So this verse, I think uh, all of you should try to memorize this. Maybe that is your homework. Uh -huh. uh, 2.1.5 from Srimad Bhagavatam. It's a good okay. verse. Uh, if you can remember that, it will be nice. Uh, let me... Uh, I will find out, Maharaj. Uh, 2.1.5 uh, uh, Dashmat Bharata Sharvatma Bhagavatma Bhagavatma Hari Shrotavya Kirtatvishya Smartavya Sechya Dhamma This is a very very nice verse. Yeah. Or descendant of King of Bharat, one who desires to be free from all miseries, must hear about, glorify and also remember the personality of Godhead, who is the super soul, the controller and the savior from all miseries. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Eh? Hare Krishna. Thank you. Vishaka Didi, Dash Manjari Didi, thank you so much. All the devotees. Hare Krishna. Thank devotees, you. Hare Krishna. All the devotees, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Yes. Mahat Sati Mataji sends her apologies as she's moving her stuff from home to the workplace. So she just had free time today. So she came a little bit and then she actually. Yeah, yeah. No, no harm. Actually, uh, I hate actually shifting, but I also sometimes have to shift here, there, so many times I shifted. Understand? That's why I like to be tortoise. They are carry their <laughs> home on their back. <laughs> they live in their home in the back, you know. <laughs> Obviously, everyone has stuff and traveling, always maintaining. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. That was. Moving, shifting, moving a house is a really moving experience. <laughs> Hare, Thank you, Mark, for coming to me. And uh, dear devotees, please don't forget, tomorrow is Java Dharma with Sri Pai Bhaktivedanta Vishnu Deji Maharaj on Zoom. So tomorrow is India Maharaj what time? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. 5, 5 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, uh, India 5 time. 5, 5 to 6. That is Mohan Ramaswamy. That, that is group Mohan Ramaswamy. Yeah, it's a Zoom class. Zoom Java class. Dharma yes. class. They are more comfortable with yes. Zoom. Yeah. Yes. Old friend of myself and Dandi Maharaj mm -hmm. from America. Old friend. So old. Maharaj is staying in his house. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. So thank you, dear devotees, for joining today. Thank you, Mataji, for joining. If you like to get our updates on uh, Maharaj's classes and also Shripad Bhakti Vedanta Dandi Maharaj, you can forward Vishnu Data Maharaj your number and he can give it to me and we can put you in a group where you can get the uh, links for the classes. But I was talking, Gurudev is stacking with the Canada Mataji. You can't understand. No, no, Maharaj gives classes online and English, you know. Yeah, yeah. These are the South African audience. Okay, and but I don't know English. Mm. English. English classes also exist. Okay, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Maharaj.
Hey Krishna, so thank you, dear devotee. So Mataji, if you'd like to join the WhatsApp group, um, you can send Vishnu Data Maharaj your number and he'll forward it to me and then all the classes are in English. Okay, Mataji. I uh, what do you do? Uh, you have WhatsApp? Okay. Hey, yes, ma'am. You yes, have Mataji. Okay, give me your number, Mataji. I will take it now. Okay, okay. My name is Mataji. Eight nine four zero. 